Hi, in this video, I am going to show the important allegation calculations which are required in order to prepare an intermediate concentration from solutions of two different concentrations. These allegation calculations are very important in competitive exams like GPAT, NIPER, Drug Inspector and various pharmacy exams. So let us start with allegation calculations. First of all, what is allegation ratio? So allegation ratio is indicated by the ratio as H is to L, where H is the proportion of the higher concentration and L is the proportion of the lower concentration. Let us indicate the higher concentration by small letter H and lower concentration by small letter L. Now, what are the final concentration or intermediate concentration required is indicated by letter M. By applying allegation, we can have the two types of subtractions where H is equal to M minus L and L is equal to H minus M. Now, this ratio H is to L is called as allegation ratio. In order to get the more clarity, let us have a practical example. How many parts of 10% weight by volume solution and 4% weight by volume solution are to be mixed to produce 8% weight by volume solution? So first of all, let us see what is the data given. Higher concentration H is equal to 10% weight by volume. Lower concentration L is equal to 4% weight by volume and whatever the final concentration or the intermediate concentration required is equal to 8% weight by volume solution. Now, let us see what is required. So, we require allegation ratio that is H is to L. So, applying the allegation, higher concentration is 10, lower concentration is 4 and the intermediate concentration is 8. So by applying the allegation method, we can have the H is equal to 8 minus 4, that is equal to 4, and L is equal to 10 minus 8, that is equal to 2. Now the allegation ratio is equal to 4 is to 2, that is nothing but 2 is to 1. So this is nothing but two parts of the higher concentration should be mixed with one part of the lower concentration in order to produce the intermediate concentration 8% weight by volume solution. Now we have few of the questions on the solution volume. So here let us see how we can calculate the solution volumes. Let us indicate the final volume as letter V. Then the volume of the higher concentration required is given by the formula H by H plus L into V. Similarly, the volume of the lower concentration required is given by the formula L by H plus L into V. Again, let us see if you have the practical examples on the calculation of the solution volumes. How many milliliters of drug suspensions containing 80 mg per 5 ml and 30 mg per 5 ml should be mixed to prepare 500 ml of a suspension of 10 mg per ml? Again, here let us see what is the data given. Higher concentration H is equal to 80 mg per 5 ml and lower concentration L is equal to 30 mg per 5 ml. Now, whatever the final concentration we require is equal to 10 mg per ml. You can observe here the units are different at the final concentration. It is expressed as 10 mg per ml, but the previous concentration are expressed as mg per 5 ml. So we should have a uniform uh, units for the concentration terms. So let us convert uh, the mg per 5 ml into mg per ml. So here 80 mg per 5 ml is nothing but 16 mg per ml and similarly 30 mg per 5 ml is nothing but 6 mg per ml. So now we have the two concentrations. One is 16 mg per ml and second one is 6 mg per ml and we have to prepare 10 mg per ml, the final concentration. So let us uh, apply the allegation. 
so higher concentration is 16 and lower concentration is 6 and intermediate concentration is 10 so by applying allegation we have h is equal to 10 minus 6 that is equal to 4 and l is equal to 16 minus 10 that is equal to 6 so the allegation ratio is equal to 4 is to 6 which is nothing but 2 is to 3 in a simple way two parts of the higher concentration should be mixed with three parts of the lower concentration in order to produce an intermediate concentration now we have to calculate the solution volumes for the same question so final volume v is given as 500 ml therefore the volume of the higher concentration required is given by by applying the formula it is given by 2 by 2 plus 3 into 500 that is nothing but 200 similarly volume of the lower concentration required is equal to 3 by 2 plus 3 into 500 that is nothing but 300 so here we have the 200 ml of the higher concentration should be mixed with 300 ml of the lower concentration to get a final volume of 500 ml of the intermediate concentration so in this way you can calculate the solution volumes once you know the allegation ratio now let us see if you have the questions on the final volume we have to calculate what is the final volume we can prepare from the two different uh, solutions how many milliliters of a 1 is to 20 volume by volume solution of a drug is can be prepared from 100 ml of 6 percent volume by volume solution higher concentration h is equal to 6 percent volume by volume and lower concentration l here the lower concentration is not given so we have to take as the water so water is having zero percent volume by volume so lower concentration is zero percent volume by volume now the final concentration is 1 is to 20 volume by volume again you, have, you can see here the units are different at the final concentration so again we have to convert into the uniform units so what is 1 is to 20 volume by volume it indicates 1 ml of the solute is present in 20 ml of the solution in other words 20 ml of the solution contains 1 ml of the solute so 100 ml of the solution contains it can be given by 1 by 20 into 100 which is nothing but 5 percent volume by volume so whatever the final concentration we require is 5 percent volume by volume so let us go to this the calculation of the allegation ratio by using these new units so the initial concentration is 6 percent volume by volume and the lower concentration is uh, zero because it is water and the final concentration we require is 5 percent volume by volume so by applying the allegation we have h is equal to 5 minus 0 that is equal to 5 and l is equal to 6 minus 5 that is equal to 1 so the allegation ratio is equal to 5 is to 1 so we have to mix the five parts of the higher concentration with one parts of the lower concentration that is here water in order to produce the five percent of the volume by volume of uh, intermediate concentration now let us calculate the solution volumes here final volume is not given and we have to calculate what is the final volume but here one of the data is given volume of the higher concentration is 100 ml so again by applying the same formula 5 by 5 plus 1 into v is equal to 100 where v is equal to 600 by 5 that is nothing but 120 ml so the final volume of this uh, allegation mixture is the 120 ml we can also calculate the individual volumes so final volume is given 120 ml and volume of the higher concentration is already given 100 ml so what are the amount of the water we have to mix is equal to 120 minus 100 ml that is nothing but 20 ml so in a simple way the 100 ml of the higher concentration should be mixed with 20 ml of the water in order to produce 120 ml of the final concentration 
So in this way, we have the different questions on the allegations and these are the few of the examples on how the questions will be asked in the competitive examinations. Thank you for watching.